<laughs> Yo, what's up? Cyberox here. Today's 18th video of making the same C++ 7 tutorial for beginners video. Let's go ahead and talk about or what we're going to be doing today. It, I don't care anymore. What we're going to be covering over is the FL statement. I done tried making this video seven times. I am now annoyed. So let's get into it. First, we're going to make an integer called D. We're going to set it equal to 50. Semicolon. Alright, now we're going to make a simple if statement. Alright, we're going to type in if and we're going to put it into curly brackets then into swervy brackets. Alright, now we're going to type in if D and we're going to type in exclamation point equal symbol means not equal 54 Actually, we're going to put it just equal to 50. And in here, this is what's going to happen. It's going to print out, see out, quotation, quotation, and now. Alright, what's going to happen is going to print out, basically on the screen, you won. Yay, with your eighth video try. Alright, real quick, we're going to go ahead and copy this. Self, you know. Hey, it's gonna help. All right, now we're gonna go and uh, compile and run it. Try it out. Why don't we? I mean, cool. It's a lot better than past seven freaking tries. I mean, tried it once, messed up. Tried it a second time, kept on messing up. Tried it a third time. Well, that's because I was trying to do something special. It still made it messed up. I hate this job. If you're still watching, thank you for watching Cyberox. You know, you might like me. If you don't, hey, it's okay. I mean, who cares about my feelings? <laughs> All right. Well, again, we're waiting. We're waiting. It seems to run especially slow today. And here we go. It's going to pop up right there. And it says, you won. Hip, hip. Hooray. We won. Booyah. Cool. All right. So that's what happens if it does equal. Now we're going to type in else, E L S E. No capitalized. Two swervy brackets, no curly brackets. In here, we're going to type in C out. Or actually, that's why we copied it. C out and, you know, the quotations and the indel. We're going to go and keep that. We're going to type in lose. Alrighty. Now, we're going to put this number at a lot of other numbers. Alright. So... If D equals 50, you won. Else, it equals, you lose. So now let's run it and see why do we lose. Or if we... Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. And as you see here, it says, you lose. Now, let's break it down like a fraction so you can understand. Number one, we declared an integer variable. And we set it equal to 323,000... No, 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 my bad. Uh, let's see, there's three, there's another three, three million, two hundred thirty-two thousand, three hundred twenty-three. So, basically, we set it equal to that, and if D does not, or is equal to 50, it would say, you won. Well, it didn't. So, this line of code is now officially meaningful of nothing. So, it went on to the next code called else, and the computer says, oh, well, if that don't work, else, do this. And it printed out, see out, you lose because it was not 50, so it went on to the next thing it could possibly go on. Now, also, a real quick tip I forgot to tell you about this, but C, I mean, I figured it kind of common sense in a way, but it did confuse me one time. C reads from top to bottom, so it reads the includes first, um, either int main, then using name, or it reads using namespace, then int main, and it goes down the list. So, it reads from the top to the bottom. I mean, that's why I thought everybody else knew, but I guess not. Alright, but yeah, this is how I use the if-else statement. I'm not going to have nothing more because I might mess up this video again and I'll be so mad. <laughs> Alrighty, so yeah, that's the if-else statement. Um, thank you for watching, Cyberox. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. Thank God. I know y'all are saying, yay, it's short. But um, yeah, hey, if you like this... Subscribe, do whatever you like. Um, comments are welcome. If you don't like my video and you leave a bad comment, I mean, hey, it's okay. I don't have feelings, whatever. <laughs> but if you leave a good comment, hey, things are great. Get great for you and get good and get gone. All right, but uh, thank you for watching Cyber Rocks. Uh, again, as always, God bless and have a good day.
I did not mess up this tutorial. Yay!